Jimbo Fisher is a $75 million man. But he's not the $75 million man. So who is? I looked back over a decade to find that answer. Let's look around at the college football salary landscape and follow the money. What we are going to see is pretty damn astonishing in my opinion. So here's a clue. There are seven coaches who get paid more than Jimbo Fisher. In order, Saban at $11.7 million. You got Kirby, Dabo, Mr. Dry Brisket himself, Brian Kelly, Ryan Day, Matt Rule, and now including Lane Kiffin, the newly minted owner of a brand new Jimbo Fisher. Maybe it's one of them. Any one of them would be worth that much, but they would only collect in a buyout scenario. Okay, makes sense it could be one of them. Last year, public FBS universities paid out $533 million in buyouts. The largest buyout ever was Gus Malzahn at $21.4 million in 2020. Now that's not even in the same ballpark money-wise. Now we established it's not Jimbo Fisher. So who else is on the hot seat? Maybe a day or a rule? It's not saving or smart, right? And that brisket was a crime, but Lincoln isn't going anywhere right now. Kelly is on his third year. Dabo makes the most sense, but he's brought Clemson more than they ever had. And Lane is 8-1, and one, while making jokes about Jimbo Fisher nonetheless. So even if any truly were, no buyout like that has ever materialized. Three and a half times the current record is a hard pass. Even as much as Aggies want to move on, the money that literally flows into the program is probably a hard ask. So to gin that kind of money up, it would take a catalyst of epic proportions, in my opinion. This is why my win of 11 24 is so important. If that money were to come to the table, an event of epic proportions like a loss to Texas, after decades absence while missing the playoffs, that might motivate. But again, it's not Jimbo. So it's got to be someone that has access to big money. Money like the half a billion dollars that was used to dismiss coaches last year, right? So Texas then, they do have a huge endowment. Just ask any of them, they will be happy to tell you. Now, what kind of endowment? It's another story. But here's the thing, they drive big trucks, fast cars, and you know what they say about guys who drive loud cars. They have little, well, let's move on. How about their AD? Because we know it isn't their coach who only rolls in Kevin Sumlin numbers circa 2015. They're still twitching from their Herman buyout, which ranks in the top three. But yet another clue. Now let's follow Sark for a second. Go back to 2008. He was hired on to take over the Huskies of Washington. He went 34 and 29 while mushing for UW. He reeled in two and a half million dollars, so he won. No, I did a rod. Literally, what he did was the I did not a rod. Okay, while he was there, a curious project was completed. However, while the Huskies went just over 500, they completed a stadium project reaching north of a quarter billion dollars. Ironically, contributions to the athletic program doubled. You know, these Washington folks, they just kind of built different. When they go six and six on the year, they get a real swell of pride, okay? A swell I haven't seen since. All right, we're going to stop there again. Now, can you imagine they're 9-0 this year? They will probably be able to fund a mission to Mars, right? Wow. So let's fast forward all the way to 2017. 2017, Jimbo Fisher is hired and he's made into a $75 million man. Great, great. We're on the hook for $75 million. He gets extended later on. We'll talk about that. Reverse, one year back. Who comes on over at A&M right before Jimbo Fisher? You all know. Scott Woodward. Scott Woodward. Scott Woodward brings in Jimbo Fisher from FSU to the tune of $75 million. Now, anybody working for A&M has got access to a lot of money. So he spends a lot with A&M. Previously, he spent a lot with UW. Wow, great. In his time at A&M, he started a few projects as well. One, notably, was New Track and Field Center. So we're on the hook for that. We'll see how that turns out. Fast forward, 2019. Scott Woodward leaves AM. Ross Bjork comes on. Woodward goes over to LSU. Okay. Same year, 
LSU wins the championship. Ed O gets his first and only. Some coaches, as he says, are built for 15 years. His was his was six because two years later, 2021, Scott Woodward goes to Coach O and he says, Coach, it's not going well. Coach O says, no shit. Even Ray Charles could see that. That's some kind of take, Coach O. They say, look, Coach O, Scott Woodward says, you got $17.1 million left on your contract. He said, we're going to give it to you. Coach O says, by the time, by time you want me out of here, what door you want me to leave, brother? Now, sorry for the totally botched Coach O impersonation, but it makes the point. They cancel Ed O and bring on Brian Kelly. They bring on Brian Kelly to the tune of $95 million, $9.5 million a year. LSU got big money too. Scott Woodward made that out. He made sure that they cashed out and that they cashed in. That's all just a coincidence, right? Right. Because if it weren't a coincidence, then they'd probably have some sort of project going on for facilities while at LSU as well. Right? Right. Huh, what's this? The Louisiana Illuminator. Huh, the LSU Maravich Assembly Center project won't receive problem $50 million appropriation. Let's look into this for a moment. It says, because of an improper appropriation, LSU's plan to upgrade the Pete Maravich Assembly Center will get started with significantly less funding than anticipated. But just how the inappropriate expense got in the state budget remains a mystery. Wow, a mystery. In a buzzer beater addition to the state construction budget approved June 8th, in the final minutes of the legislative session, state lawmakers allocated $1 million in cash to the Tiger Athletic Foundation for the PMAC Enhanced Project. In addition to the $50 million in fees and self-generated revenues and another $50 million in the lowest priority category of state funding. Wow, a hundred plus million dollars on deck for LSU. Under whose tenure? Scott Woodward. Wow. That's very interesting. In an interview, Edwards, the governor of Louisiana, told the Illuminator he kept the appropriation in the bill so the Tiger Athletic Foundation would still get the cash to begin planning the project. Hmm. All right. Well, can't fault him too much, right? The question of how an illegal appropriation got into the state construction budget remains. You don't say. The question still remains. I bet it does. The language was presented, according to the Illuminator, to lawmakers by somebody advocating for the project on behalf of the university, according to Meiji, a state representative for Louisiana, who could not recall who it was. Let me read that again. The language was presented to lawmakers by somebody advocating for the project on behalf of the university, according to Meiji, who could not recall who it was. It's amazing. This guy... Politician can't remember a thing. You know, that's probably just par for the course, right? Edwards, again, back to the governor, called the inappropriate funding a mistake. The bundle of budget bills were released to legislators just minutes before they were asked to vote on them in the final 30 minutes of the session. Wow, I'm sure that was just a mistake. Due to the confusion, Edwards said he reached out to LSU Athletics Director Scott Woodward after he was unexpectedly asked about the project during the radio show. But no comment. You don't say. Well, here's the thing. We have done this at least to ourselves in part, but there are other $75 million men, and Scott Woodward is probably one of them. We got a lot of stuff done while he did. He's probably brought a lot of good things to other universities as well and probably have some good things happen to LSU. However, one thing is constant with this guy. Even though we were someone who extended Jimbo Fisher while he was at LSU because we were afraid he might go after Jimbo, is that whenever he gets something done, he's soon to leave thereafter. Once this project gets done, it'll be something to watch to see what happens.